Hi, welcome to my first video on the difference between Hadoop and Spark. This is the part one. In part one, what I want to quickly talk about is the big data framework and differentiation, whether Spark to Hadoop is complementary or replacement, why Spark is faster than Hadoop, and do you really need Spark's speed? And what is a failure recovery mechanism in Hadoop and Spark? Okay, so Hadoop and Spark both, both are big data framework and it's an Apache project. Hadoop came in first and Spark is little more advanced or you can say the latest addition to big data framework. So the, let's understand at a very high level what happens in Hadoop. So Hadoop is primarily of two different parts. I mean Hadoop consists of file system and the MapReduce algorithm. The file system used in Hadoop is called HDFS which is Hadoop distributed file system, right? The MapReduce is the data processing algorithm. So the MapReduce works um, like it reads the data from the cluster and processes the data using MapReduce and then it writes back the results into the cluster. So next time when it reads the updated data from the cluster and runs the Hadoop sorry map reduce toss and write back the results into the cluster and this continues right you can see that file operations uh, happening in uh, Hadoop framework so before the data processing happens it, it actually reads the data from the cluster and process it and then it has to write back so before it it goes to the next cycle whereas in spark the data processing engine that runs the data processing task in memory and in near real time. Why it's called a near real time? Because it runs the batch processing, you know, in memory. So it achieves the very high speed. So theoretically, Spark is 10 times faster for batch processing and up to 100 times faster for in-memory analytics than Hadoop. So apart from this, I'm not sure of any benchmarking has been done to change these numbers, whether it is 10 times faster or 100 times faster. It could be, dif it, it could be differing based on your framework, you know, configuration as well so we we got to understand the difference here between spark and hadoop spark doesn't have an inbuilt file management system so either it can work with hdfs or other file system so just remember that the hdfs is is what used in hadoop but hadoop mandates that you have HDFS as your file management system. But in Spark, you have that flexibility of choosing HDFS or other file systems, right? So that's one of the key reason why Spark and Hadoop are used together in many of the real time application, analytics applications to make the most benefit out of it, right? And this proves that Spark is not a complete replacement for Hadoop. Spark and Hadoop are complementary to each other in a way, right? So how do you go about selecting the correct framework for your data analytic needs? So this is how you differentiate it, right? The foremost thing is 
It really depends on the type and volume of data that is to be analyzed and processed. So what is the volume that you have? What is the type that you have? So when we say type, we, we could consider something like this. For example, if your data is static, Hadoop should be good enough. I mean, you can just wait for the Hadoop MapReduce algorithms to complete the task and get the response. But on the other hand, if the data is real time, like online camp campaign, music analytics, sensor data, usually very huge and requires faster response time, then Spark is a better choice. So what it means that if you have a streaming data flowing into your analytic framework, you better off choosing Spark. So it is, it is not just the speed which differentiates Hadoop and Spark. It also depends on the type of data and volume. So this is another point adding it to complementary or replacement discussion. And another difference or another similarity in Hadoop and Spark is how the resiliency mechanism is, right? In Hadoop, the data are written to disk after every operation. So, of course, uh, system failures and faults can be recovered, right? How does Spark handle it? Spark also has an inbuilt resiliency mechanism where its data objects called RDD, Resilient da Distributed Data Sets, distributed across the cluster, data cluster. So that can be in memory or on disk. So Spark also provides full recovery in case of faults or failures, right? So at a very high level, both has the resiliency, just the way it works, just the way it achieves the end results differs. Okay, with that, I'm closing this video. So thanks for listening and watching. And if you like my video, please subscribe and I will come back with more videos on Hadoop and Spark differences and other subjects in this domain. Thank you. Bye.